Good morning reception, I hope you're really enjoying the new topic all about mini beasts and bugs. Some of the things we're going to do are share some little videos for you to see online of your teachers doing some things at home. And this week I'm going to read a story for you. And the story I've chosen is Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell. Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. Norman the slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman, look at them, they're amazing. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. Whee! Crash! Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You've spoilt our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left out. Sadly, he sculpted off into the moonlight. If only I had a shell of my own, he sighed, looking at his reflection. And that's when he had an idea. Maybe I could have a shell after all, he thought. But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy, boing. One was too noisy, brrrr. And one was already taken, oi. Norman needed time to think. Ta-da! A shell. It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. He could join the snails at last. Norman loved being a snail, and the snails loved Norman's silly shell. But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly there was a loud flapping of wings. Look out, bird! cried the snails in panic. Quick, slither for your lives or we'll end up as supper! But the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Norman was carried up, up and away, higher and higher into the sky. What could he do? Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime, lots and lots of it, with a slither and a slother and a slip and a slide. Norman was free. But he was falling faster and faster and faster until plonk! Norman! Norman! Are you okay? asked the snails. Wow! said Norman. That was great! I love flying. If only I had wings. Ta-da! Now reception, I hope you really enjoyed that story. And here's a few things to think about now it's finished. On this page, you can see Norman really wanted to be a snail. Why do you think he wanted to be a snail? And at the end of the story, he really wants to be a bird. What do you think happens to him next?